led to the evacuation of the nearby community of Wawona, as well as the Wawona campground. Nancy Philippi is with Yosemite Fire. The fire was very active. It was spotting and, and hit those trigger points that we had that if it got into certain areas, we knew we would want to evacuate the community. Wawona Road, Highway 41 is also closed. Philippi says those looking to access the park will need to use an alternate route. Either the Upatel Road, Highway 140, or the Big Oak Flat Road, Highway 120, or Tioga Road. Now, it's not just about protecting structures. Sometimes it's the sequoias in the Mariposa Grove. Some more than 2,000 years old. Philippi says so far they've been protected. We put out the call for help, and, and everybody's coming and, and helping us with a as much resources as they can. Roughly 300 firefighters are battling the blaze and some additional help from the sky. The cause of fire remains under investigation. That's the KCBS. More on the effort now to save those giant sequoia trees. KCBS's is Jennifer Hodges reports on the material being used. And the new connection with the trees are being cut in the fire burning in the trees are being wrapped in what looks like tin foil. It's an effort to save them. It also will uh, reflect 92% of the convective heat, just the air and the ground coming off of the earth and everything else. Dan Herning is the founder and director of Fire Zot. He says it's a product also being used on structures to protect them from flying embers. They did a study of the Forest Service and 80% of the structures are actually burned with a fire brand that lands on the structure and ignites. Mostly material used by agencies like the BLM or Cal Fire, but it can be used by individual homeowners. And we asked Herning how long it would take to ask.